You yeah. know who shows up in big games? Patrick yeah. Mahomes. <laughs> and uh, Mark, I think our takes on this particular game were very spot accurate. on. Yeah, spot it's on. Like the elements being a factor in this game was going to play very strong to Kansas City strengths, and it was going to almost completely neutralize the things that made the Dolphins a threat. And that's exactly what we saw. That the Dolphins' offense was immobile, essentially, or just not as mobile going against a good defense. They could not get the run game established, and they were not completing passes at the clip that they needed to. And Tyreek didn't have that kind of game-breaking speed that he usually does because, you know, they're battling the elements a little bit more. And, you know, I still got to say, KC offensively didn't look phenomenal, but they looked a lot better than they have in previous weeks. Mark's take is looking like it's aging pretty well increasingly well um so we will see Dangerous what happens team, man i sure as hell would want to see him all all it took all it, the defense has been solid for kansas city all year all long season yep. mahomes has been on a down year but it's not necessarily like when you watch him play it's not like oh mahomes is playing bad he's just it's not as clean the timing's off the receivers are making errors obviously there's it has not been clean in that game but they got the running game going which is if they can do that Look out, because Mahomes is going to find a way to get the ball to guys he trusts. Rasheed Rice, huge game, right? Breakout performance. He'll continue to gain confidence after that game. I'm telling you, you're going to see Kadarius Toney and, and Sky Moore and some of these guys come into their own and make some plays here in this playoff run once they're back healthy. Kelsey's going to figure it out at some point. It, I'm telling you, this team's dangerous. I said it three, four weeks ago when nobody was giving this team a chance. I said it, and I'm telling you, you do not want to bet against the champ. He's the best player in the world for a reason. And you give him a home game against a Miami team that, we'll be honest about it, soft. They didn't want to tackle. They didn't want to play in the cold weather. They didn't want to run in, inside, right? Everything was trying to get to the edge and, and with the wind and, the, and those weather conditions. Not easy to do. Trying to throw the ball downfield to Tyreek Hill, not easy to do. You have 30-mile-per-hour winds did, and people's see, mustaches <laughs> freezing. Did you see Tyreek's uh, tweet? towards sneak yes. about that block too <laughs> what do you say block my ass to cancun or something like that like i mean i mean Ty tyreek is um a great player but uh I, you know i don't know like some of the stuff he does off the field I, I saw very very ironic people were saying how cute it was he threw like after his touchdown he threw the ball to his wife and then i saw a tweet it was like it's not as cute when you think about the fact that he had two other women give birth to his children in the last six months like for you know, real Dude, he's had three. Yeah, he's got three kids this year with three different women. He's just got like affairs out the ass. That's crazy. I mean, yeah. And it's like, oh, it's his fiance or wife. And it's like, oh, what a cute moment. And then it's like, is it really that cute? Like he's got like. Yeah, he's you know, kind of living on a on a different planet than than everybody else. I mean, he might not be from this planet the way he plays football, but that's true. But like, it's just it's kind of the same thing as like it's almost like a rapper syndrome where it's like you're just bigger than life at a certain point. You start playing by different rules than everybody else. And then you contextualize it for half a second. Like, I didn't know that. Right. Like you contextualize. Oh, like, yeah. Tyreek, first of all, doesn't care enough about football to not make jokes about going on vacation the day after he gets kicked out of the playoffs. Tua, and dude, Tua asking for a jersey swap. Did you see that? He no, asked Mahomes for a jersey swap. Like, you don't ask a guy. After you get your ass beat in a game like that where you play, like, dog shit and, you know, you had all this hype going really the whole season. I mean, he had MVP talks about Tua. The Dolphins looked unbeatable at one point. I mean, we literally made a full episode on who, how do you stop this offense? Is it unstoppable? And then you lose like this to Kansas City, and the first thing you do when you see Patrick Mahomes is ask for a jersey swap. And, and, and Mahomes said no politely. He's like, oh, I already promised somebody else. It's like, dude, that's just loser mentality, man. Like, you're not an yeah. assassin. That's like, not a Kobe Bryant mentality. That's not yeah. a Josh Allen. Like, Josh Allen, when he loses, Mahomes, when he loses, Brady, when he lost. Like, when you see these guys lose games, they're not asking for jersey swaps. They're not trying to be goody-goody with these people. I mean, people. You, like, you don't even need to, to talk about, you know, the behavior off the field when you're seeing, you know. Dude, if, if I'm a defender and I see the other guy cracked playing his quarterback helmet. and his helmet is cracked, <laughs> like that's so terrifying. interesting story. That's not the first I've seen someone's helmet crack in person before. Uh, it was actually in youth football. One of the, one of the these crazy just head to head hits in an Oklahoma drill back when you could do that back when football wasn't soft. Um, we were doing an Oklahoma drill. Two guys, run, two really hard hitters, running each other. Boom! Loud crack. Dude, hit the guy. The kid's helmet cracked right down the middle, like all the way down. Uh, both kids were completely fine, but just like the sound that that made and just like so the collision. So, so sweet, dude. How so cold sweet. it has to be too, to, for that to happen. 